Oh, hi. Welcome back to my channel and to another video. Today, I will be drawing my last soul boy. I've been sitting on this for like three weeks. <laughs> I just didn't want to finish it. I don't know. I'm going to continue drawing my OCs after this, but it just felt like I actually managed to draw all eight of them, which feels nice and also kind of weird because I usually don't finish mini projects or projects at all, honestly. But yeah, so today I'm drawing Haruki or Kuin. Honestly, I don't call him Kuin that much anymore. Story related, but he also stops using Kuin at one point, so most of the time I'm probably going to be referring to him as Haruki. But yeah, he's like, he's the youngest member of the group. He's one of the dancers. Yes, one of the dancers. Sorry, I don't have any notes or anything like that. And he... He was, uh, let's see, so in Ichiban Idol, for the longest time I only had Mars and Venus, and then I added Ion, which is like a senior idol to them, and then after that I added Haruki. So Haruki was the fourth character I created for Ichiban Idol. Do you guys want to know how many I have now? Because <laughs> after, so I made like, um, I made Haruki, right? So with Haruki, I had the soul boys, so I had to draw another seven boys. So that's, uh, what's that a total of? Three plus eight, that's 11. After soul boys, I made Azuzan and Maya, which are like a super senior duo of two ladies. So that's 13. Yeah, that's got to be the next. So I made a trio and they're called Eclipse. I don't think I've officially drawn them, really. I might have shown a sketch somewhere. So that's another three, so that's 16. And then for the longest time, I've also had a baby group. I've, I've called them baby group for the longest time, but I actually meant to figure out a name for them. I have never said this in English, but Kuiper, like the, ooh, it's not an asteroid belt, I think, but it's, it's space things. I've realized I really liked the theme of space for all of my Ichiban Idol stuff. So that's kind of, so that's another four. What is it, six, 20 characters? Is that right? No, 20. I have 20. Oh my god, I have 20 characters. <laughs> I have 20 characters in Ichiban Idol now. I think Ichiban Idol as a, as a thing has been such a fun thing to create, but because like the whole thing about it was that I started with Mars. And I made Mars because I wanted to have a character I could just dress up and change however I wanted. She was like, originally I think she was like a like a photo model or something like that. And then I think as I got into K-pop, mostly I think, I really liked the idea of having a series of idols. And I think I actually got into some idol anime too, like idol master and stuff like that. I just like the idea. So I added Venus to have a counterpart to her. And those soul boys came from Venus backstory. And then I've sort of just added to Ichiban Idol on top of that. But yeah, so that's a little bit of a ramble on Ichiban Idol as a whole. This little project, like, of drawing all the soul boys, it's, it's been really fun. I think I said that at the start, but it's, like, been really, really fun because at the end, I put all of their portraits together, and it's just really nice to see them all together in a fairly consistent style because I think one of my biggest problems is that I haven't been drawing them often enough to have, like similar designs for all of them like my style has changed a little bit with every time like my style has changed because I've drawn them so seldom they never really look the like they never look like they belong together but I feel like with these portraits they kind of do one of them so if, if here's a quick look at the entire thing I'm probably going to show the whole collection at the end as well but when I look at them I do wish I had spent a bit more time on Daiki because he is probably one of the ones that I feel like looks not quite as good as the other ones, but I can't tell if that's because his design is just so simple that I can't really do much with it, or because, I don't know, I was having a bad art day or something, because th there is something about his look that makes me think I should work a bit more on that. My favorites are definitely uh, Dieu. He turned out like... His entire design is so, so pretty. Like, he's so pretty. <laughs> and then, obviously, I really like Yanagi. And Haruki is also one of my favorites, actually. But I don't know if that's a color thing. And, like, I'm, I always like the more, like, edgy, 
edgy characters. Hinata is also like a favorite, but he's like the sort of cute. He's really cute. I love him. I love all of them, honestly. One thing I really like is that one thing I've always liked about my way of drawing, is that a thing? I feel like I've always been very aware of making characters look different. Like I've always been very aware of making like eye shapes different or giving them different like chins, especially on these when I had them all together, I could definitely see that I have a vision. I have like a vision of what they look like. Because if you look at uh, Daiki and Haruki, they have very, very wide chins. And then if you look like at Hinata and Yanagi, they have very pointy chins. I feel like I've always been quite aware of that. And like eyebrows, <laughs> I think that's a later thing though, because I, I never really drew eyebrows well. At least when I started figuring eyebrows out, I've also been very aware to make those different for most of my characters. And just to get away from the whole same face syndrome thing, I don't think I've ever, I think noses might be the one thing that I draw very similar from character to character, unless I have a specific idea about their nose shape. But yeah, but most of the time noses look the same. I do try to be aware of um, how I draw faces to make my characters more unique between each other, like so that they all don't look the same. I feel like that's something I can be proud of. <laughs> I don't know if I have anything else. This was a really fun project. I'm gonna continue drawing my OCs, but probably not in portraits like this. These portraits were specifically made so that I would have new proper ones for their character page on my website. So now that that's done, I can move on to other drawings. I'll probably draw more of my OCs, but maybe in uh, not busts, but maybe half bodies and full bodies and more elaborate poses and stuff like that. So yeah, look forward to that. I have a ton of OCs. I'm currently working on portraits, or rather I'm sketching up final designs for the girls in Kuiper. I'll probably be drawing some Bokura no Monogatari soon. Um, they're always like my default go-to when I don't know what to draw. They're my favorites. Okura no Monogatari will always be my favorites. Um, anyway, I'm not going to ramble on for too long. Okay, cutting from one subject to another because I had 50 minutes of voiceover that I managed to cut away so much of that I now need another four minutes of voiceover. <laughs> uh, I know how to ramble. But yeah, I thought I'd just add some some more thoughts of some kind. Uh, and what pops into my head is upload schedule and videos and video themes and things like that. So I am thinking that I want to try emphasis on try. I want to try to upload twice a week because I want to post both art videos and crochet videos. And I've sort of been alternating between the two up until now and that has worked out fine but now that I've been on uh, staycation and stuff I've been able to sort of sort out some things what I want to do what I don't want to do and I definitely want to try to post twice a week at least for a while since I am a bit behind as well but I think doing one crochet video and one artsy video a week isn't too taxing especially now that I'm honestly I feel a bit more comfortable doing voiceovers especially like this where they're not scripted and I know I'm still struggling a bit like time managing my editing of things but I just I really want to try I really want to try so I feel like I just need to sort of focus in I think I said this last time too I really want to focus in on on doing this stuff uh, so yeah, that's that's a plan I currently have, and I do have two crochet projects already uh, ready to go for videos. So I just I just need <laughs> the only thing I need to do is to sit down and record those, and uh, I think that's that's gonna be good. And I do have a few more down the line. I have mentioned the little mini series. Uh, of crochet stuff and those two projects are actually part of that so it's it's get, it's coming along so yeah that's my thought I I want to try I really want to try making more videos 
Especially because I promised myself 52 by the end of the year, and if I don't start doing anything about it now, I'm <laughs> I'm gonna be behind forever. So yeah. Okay, now I honestly do not have anything else to add, so I'm gonna say my thank yous and maybe put on some music here at the end. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed, feel free to subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys in my next video. Until then, bye!